afternoon. Welcome to another Thursday Live. I'm Nadine Forsler, better known as Mama Choco, and I am here today to share more endless possibilities with Choco Paint. I'm still working on a tiled surface and I just want to give ideas. And I have a friend that always says, use or lose, you know who you are. Um, so use or lose. I am here to give ideas to show possibilities and throughout this season of sharing ideas on tiled surfaces, I'll show various options. Okay, so last week during the live, I showed how to apply our stencil of Paris paste on a tiled surface that was cleaned with lacquer thinners. I don't have it in the space anymore, but please go look at that video. The first two steps, the cleaning preparation step, and then the stencil of Paris application I have shown last week. So just go watch the video again on our YouTube channel, Choco Paint, it's free. So my like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, everything that you need to do, just to make sure you receive those notifications each time we upload a new video. And lots of excitement to happen soon with a series that we've just filmed. Okay, so I have cleaned my wall tiles, not floor tiles, well with lacquer thinners. Make sure to use lacquer thinners. It's also on the instructions on the choco jar. And please take note, if it doesn't say choco, it is not choco. Okay, choco is unique and special. Go watch that YouTube channel so that you can see the things that make that makes choco so unique and special. It's more than just paint. It is passion and sharing ideas and possibilities. So clean well with lacquer thinners. Then we've applied the stencil of Paris paste with a trowel onto the clean tile surface after the thinners um, has evaporated for more or less 40 minutes. Okay, when you live in coastal, coastal areas, when there's humidity, cold weather, um, weather plays a big role in the drying time of paint. So humidity, cold weather, rainy wet weather, everything will take longer to dry and then patience is needed. Okay, so on this surface behind me, I'm going to start working on this one. Um, we have applied the stencil of Paris paste and it is now dry. Drying time depends on the thickness of the application and weather. So this I've left to dry overnight and um, also because of time constraints. And next step, I'm going to use, so Choco Paint has Choco, which is a unique formulated chalk based paint. And then within our range, we have a beautiful wall paint range with the different choco colors. This large tub of paint is specifically formulated for wall surfaces. I don't have a tiled surface anymore. You can't apply wall paint onto a tiled surface. Choco does grip. The normal choco paint in your glass jar will grip onto tiles after you have cleaned it well. Wall tiles after you have cleaned it well with lacquer thinners. But yeah, I'm not working on a, on a tiled surface. I have the stencil of Paris on my surface now. So to, to cover a larger wall area, the wall paint is a beautiful product. Okay, so tips when it comes to painting of walls. Very important first step is to do your cut lines. Okay, I'm just going to share some ideas. I don't want to bore you, but please take note that we have constant new members on our social media pages and we receive these questions for the for so for those of you that already know just bear with me and for those of you that are new we are here to help all the time so cut lines you won't see the color difference so so um significantly now because we're working with two light colors but that's also for the reason of my technique that I'll apply later. So I first do my cut line with a brush and those are the areas close to the edges. Okay. I'm not going to jump on a ladder because we are working in a very tight space. But this step, so even coats, 
it's like coloring in a picture we outline and then we fill the insides Kaylee's fixing my hair behind the scenes okay this is real real people sharing real ideas no fanciness um, next after I have done my cut line so that I will do around the edges close to the corners close to the skirting at the edge masking tape to make sure that everything happens perfectly so you first secure your masking tape and then you fill in the edges of your surface that you're going to paint now for a wall surface also a surface that's quite rough this is a classic roller so I'm rolling my classic roller Let me just remove this paintbrush through my paint I do make sure I use the section to evenly distribute my paint and now I'm going to roll so this is a quick and easy way to cover a large uneven wall surface as mentioned earlier the color change won't be that significant but that the process does make sense is more important now wall paint takes longer to dry than charcoal with charcoal we say to 20 to 40 minutes wall paint does take longer more or less four hours drying time weather depending okay so on this surface i have covered my wall with one coat and more than one coat is not needed because next we are going to apply the technique now you know me i usually get dirty doesn't matter how many coats of aprons I wear for the wash technique I am going to need a bucket of water and a few used rags so these are old rags something that absorb moisture well and the chocolate colors I'm going to work with I'm going to start first with my darkest color which is share of stone and I'll mention them as I proceed so the quality of your rag doesn't matter as long as it is something that absorbs moisture well so it's wet I have squeezed out most water but the wetness on the rag actually helps with the distribution of the paint so next I'm going to pour some paint onto my rag there are various ways of doing a wash technique you can also dilute your paint with water or you can simply work like this the most important tip is to enjoy the process remember you're working with paint this is not life-threatening it's supposed to be fun and the result in the outcome should be something that just motivates you to be creative with your next project again okay so I next I roll my cloth like a ball in the palm of my hand my paint is evenly distributed on my cloth there are no greases so it's a nice flat cloth and now very gently I'm going to apply pressure on my painted surface in circular motion and as mentioned there are many techniques endless possibilities as I've said in the in the description of this so I'm working in circular motion and I'm washing my wall so this is a technique that's more subtle than the one that we have shared last week you will see when the outcome is here I turn my rag so this is a process okay Monica thank you for all your hard paint work on this wall 
So that's the nice thing of being part of Choco is um, we're working with a dream team. Okay, so this was previously a tiled surface. Kaylin, if you can just move the camera around to the back where there are still tiles. So initially, the tiles looked like this. Can you see this discoloration of the grout? In many places, there are even cracks. And we've recently been through the process in the other bathrooms of knocking out off the tiles, having the cement grind it off to, um, to create an even surface to retile, have cement mixed in our dwelling, um, people in and out for three weeks on end, and that's a tedious, very expensive um, process. So with this, it's something I can do myself. Monica assisted me earlier this um, today with the paintwork. We did the stencil application yesterday, and this is now the first step. So I'm washing my wall with sheriff stone. So no one will notice that this was a tiled surface. It's cost effective. I've only used that few drops of paint on my cloth and I'm still washing with it. I'm also working down here so that I allow the top section where I'll be washing next just to dry a bit before I continue with that. That's also something that I do want to share as a tip. It's nice to just allow between coats for the paint just to settle and dry while you do the wash technique so that the impact of the next color is more visible. Else colors will just blend together. I haven't had to wet my cloth again. I didn't have to apply more paint I'm still washing with that first blob. Okay, now I'm just making sure that I get an even outcome. On areas like this, where I can see some streaks, nice thing, you can make changes as you go. So if you see something that you don't like, just change. So this is very gentle movements in circular motion. And I just hide all the imperfections. I will jump on a ladder afterwards and complete that. Okay, so through a camera screen, um, things sometimes look different. And one of the things, it picks up lines easier than what you see with your eye due to the light that filters through it. So I just want to make sure that you see more or less what I see, an even distribution of color with some nice tones over here and there as I've rubbed away more. Oh, this already is stunning. Um, it's also a great workout. And it's also a great way of having excuses not to be able to cook. Okay, so don't you just say, darling, I can't prepare supper, won't you help? because I'm busy being creative, I'm fixing our bathroom tiles. There's a question, Kaylee asked the question so that I can help. Okay, so what did we first apply over the tiles? Choco paint stencil of Paris paste. It's not plaster of Paris, plaster of Paris will just chip. So please go watch on our YouTube channel, it's a free channel, Choco paint the video from last week where I show the app actual application with a trowel on clean tiled surfaces. Okay, next I'm going to work with just to bring in not only a grey tone but also a brownish tone. So colour trends change all the time but something that I do want to create in this space is a very natural looking wall surface. So something that doesn't only look great Oh, that doesn't only look great, y'all. It needs to look fantastic. But doesn't only look grey, 
but subtle brown tones also in there that are not restricted with only a gray space okay so for that let me show the steps for those that are that recently joined I'm going to use the same cloth I rinse it this is a microfiber cloth you can also use mutton cloth you can also use all t-shirts um, I once presented a workshop um, and I couldn't source mutton cloth so the factory bought those cut up, cut up pieces that you buy from from hardware stores and they usually cut it up for me which they did but they missed one piece and it was a jockey underpants and as I bend down to get my rag from my from my bucket with extra items at a workshop filled with people I pulled out a jockey and a band and this is this is the truth we upcycle everything even underpants so if you want to upcycle those clean underpants you can also use that so any cloth that's soft and absorbs moisture well can be used you don't need to go buy something specific for this so yes now the next color all this mix it has a soft brown tone to it beautiful and I'm going to add that on top of my sheriff stone that I've just applied on the surface evenly distributed on my cloth my cloth fold like a ball in the palm of my hand pressed flat and now for subtle browner tones I'm gently going to add this so it's not in your face it's not only gray it will complement any accessory that I want to add to the space and now this is something that I always say and I'm going to say it again because there are always new people joining color is a personal choice okay you work with colors in your space that speaks to your heart and that makes you happy um, your space is personal it's unique it's unique to you so whatever your color preference you can use the same technique and just apply it with the colors that you like so can you see the cement look and feel how the detail gets accentuated I change between movement as you can see certain areas I move in round motions and in certain areas you just need to move horizontally vertically so you can play around no right or wrong you just make sure that the application is done evenly I'm going to add a little bit more you don't even need paint brushes just your hand So my main objective is to just share ideas. Um, this can also be beautiful on a furniture piece. It doesn't need to be done on a wall. It can be beautiful on a chest of drawers that just needs that something special. On a tray, um, on a cement pot, a flower pot. This is a beautiful technique to apply, especially if you have plastic flower pots can look at our YouTube channel we have done something similar on plastic flower pots um, so you are not only limited to a wall space the technique can be applied to so many surfaces okay so I'm just making sure it's evenly distributed and then for some accents I'm going to end off with David 
no sealant needs to be applied chalkle has a built-in sealant and we only apply extra coat of glaze when we need to make the surface um, water resistant or uv resistant please note this is not a technique that i have tested inside a shower but on flower pots outside yes and then we have applied the glaze clear glaze just to make sure that there's extra uv and water protection for the elements outside okay but a shower has constant water and a lot at one time so not something that i have tested inside a shower if you are brave enough and you do want to attempt it please let us know the outcome okay so now i'm working with my last color although this you can apply as many colors as you like and you can also maybe just do certain areas in in different colors to create that really mottled effect of it we have a lot of artists out there that uses choco and i'm so proud to see whatever you create and that is such an inspiration so i'm just making sure the light color what the light color does it actually brings out the detail on the wall can you see how the texture gets emphasized It also softens the darker colors underneath so you have a more subtle still textured tiled surface you can't believe that these were previously a tiled wall as you can see here as I apply the lighter color on top let me just add a bit more here and it's just a few fingers full each time i have hardly used any paint and i the thing is once you start you don't want to stop you don't even want to stop the life because you just want to continue Kaylee you now need to tell me does everything look proper neat from your side of of the camera okay so Kaylee's giving a head shake how stunning is that and also as the paint dries you can add more accents so it's nice to just allow some time in between very gently just wipe on more as you wish this is satisfying people okay and this is it beautiful Kaylee it's beautiful okay then I'll stop there I'll finish the rest of the wall but I hope that the process the outcome does make sense it's quick it's easy little paint and it is very satisfying okay so this is my message for the week and um, I think those of you that live close to us will know what lives in our hearts um, not something that I'm ready to share at this point but we said last week whether that we are going to focus on words of affirmation and this week we are not going to let an opportunity pass us by without saying the words I appreciate you to those around you that lives close to you and that you appreciate okay we don't miss opportunities to share words of affirmation we all need it so let's take care of each other's hearts and this is a message to wherever you are watching from whether you are a fellow south african or sitting sitting in switzerland scotland ireland 
um, Zimbabwe, um, Australia. This is from my heart, Mama Choco's heart to you all. Have a stunning week. Take care of each other. Take care of the hearts of those that that's special to you. Lots of love. Till next time.